the earth Ooh, I'm not my thing I feel the sky top on top Still trying to figure out how to take me one on one? Joe. Joe, are you asleep? Not anymore. Joe, you know I'd rather die than wake a sleeping intern. Then die. Funny guy. Listen, I just got a message from Scott. They found Serena. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I just had to tell someone. Well, I'm glad it was me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cup of coffee in my hands. I'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye. Hi, good morning. I, did I wake you up? No, before? no, you didn't wake me, but there was coffee on the nightstand, the broom. Well, it's immaculate. <laughs> and you practically made the bed around me. You see? It's a really big day, and, and I just, you know, I, I wanted you to sleep in while I had a chance to do everything I wanted to do. To You're the one who should be sleeping in, Lucy. Doc Mac and the FBI won't be here for a couple hours, so I thought, you know, we all got in late last night. I'll give Scott and Serena a chance to settle in, and while they were settling you in, I You haven't slept this... in days. I am too happy to sleep. <gasps> I'm going to announce to the world really soon that I'm going to be the Dr. And Mrs. Kevin Collins, and I'm going to tell everybody that I'm going to be the mother of your child. And you're meeting Serena today. And she's here. She is finally here. And it's all because of you. Daddy. Look who's up. Good morning, pumpkin pie. Are you okay? Am I okay? Yeah. You look funny. I'm fine. And now that you're back, I'm perfect. <laughs> Me too. You're okay, but you have a funny look on your face. I, I hurt my stomach while you were gone, but it's nothing. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. But it wouldn't stop me from hugging you. Nothing would. Nothing. No matter what. Nothing ever. Mm. I have a question. Okay. Is this your dream? No, this isn't a dream. You are here. You're really, really here. And I'm really, really here. Prove it. Oh, okay. Dirty Kitty is here. Meow. She seems real. And mm, that seems pretty real. One more thing. Okay, what? A secret handshake. There. Got it. Okay, it's real. Know what? What? I had a dream we were in a roundhouse. We are in a roundhouse. It's a lighthouse. You see, it's lit up so the ships out there, they can find their way home. How come we're not home? Because it was too far to go, and we got some friends here. Are we staying long? Well, we're going to stay a little bit. You see, your grandma and your grandpa are really excited about seeing you. I want to see them, too. But don't worry, I'm going to be with you the whole time. Um... Are you all right? Yes. How do those people treat you? There's only one, a lady. Oh, yeah? She was nice. I was bored at first. Then I got mad. I bet you did. I said, where's my daddy? They kept on saying you were coming, but you did it. Uh, I was trying to get to you. You know, I, I had to find you first. Listen, I got these people, well, the, these friends of mine, and, and they want to ask you a couple of questions about that lady. The people who live here? 
Uh, no, some different people. But I want you to try and remember everything you can so you can tell them, all right? This town that we're in, this is where I grew up. And there's this girl here, lives here, and I want you to meet her. I smell bacon, pancakes, and eggs. I think it's time for breakfast then, minus the eggs. Yay! I knew you would come for me, Daddy. I'll always come for you. Now, can I ask you a question? Sure. Can I have another hug? Ah, oh, there you go. Do you think I have enough? This is plenty if you're feeding Guam. Right. Good. Okay, see, it's just that, you know, Lee and Gail are coming over, and I'm not sure what she likes. I mean, I don't know what Serena really eats for breakfast, and... Oh, boy. What's the matter? Oh, what am I thinking? She's Scott's daughter. Serena's Scott's daughter. I should just throw all this away and get orange soda and devil dogs. That's what we got to do. You got to help me. Let's clear this table. Uh, uh, yeah, Lucy, 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 Lucy. Shh, shh, shh. I am freaking out. In clinical terms? Yes, you are. It's because I'm scared to death. I know. Okay. I want to treat her like she's my daughter. She's not. But I, I want to treat her like that, you know, because that's how I feel. And I don't know how she's going to treat me because... She doesn't even know me. Lucy, she will. You're not exactly standoffish, you know. It's just I have so many feelings for her, you know. I'm not sure how to deal with it all. And I'm thinking about myself, aren't I? And she's been through such an ordeal. This is stupid, stupid of me. Did you see her, though, last night, Doc? She was so together and mm -hmm. so calm. You don't think maybe she was in shock, do you? Mm -hmm. Well, that's hard to say. She was just so... Amazing. And Scott, did you see him? It was like he was a whole new man. He was so together, and them together was awesome. He was really calm with her, too. Actually, I think that was the right choice for him to make, because if Serena saw how panicked he was, how scared he really was for her, then she might understand how much danger she was really in, and she could withdraw. You're right. Usual. You know, I was really proud of you last night. I know how hard it was for you to hold back. I didn't exactly do that this morning, did I? Oh, <laughs> I hear him. I hear him. Okay. They're I, coming. I know. They're coming. I know. Just okay. relax. It'll be all right. Serena, this is Dr. Collins. Hi. I am Dr. Collins, but you can call me Kevin if you want. And this is Lucy Coe. Hi. <laughs> You are so incredibly beautiful. I, I made you some very beautiful pancakes. Who is she? Okay. Um, you see, I am a very, very good friend of your daddy's. And I was a very, very good friend of your mommy's. And what I'm so looking forward to is maybe me and you. Maybe we could be really, really good pals, too. Okay? So is your sister all right? Half sister. It's all blood. Uh, I guess. I'm sure the three of you guys have a lot to talk about. Yeah. Sure, I've heard Scott's voice on the message. He was so happy. And he still took time to call you. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Well, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, he showed up at my review board hearing because of you. You think so? It wasn't to make the world safe for democracy, Karen. <laughs> it's weird. I don't even know his birthday. And he did that. Yes, I'm so happy. I'm on overload. You know, my father's leaving messages on my answering machine. I'm sleeping in my old bedroom again, and suddenly I have a little sister. It's wild. Hey, welcome home. <laughs> I tried to call Jagger. Yeah? Yeah, we both have such crazy schedules, you know. You never seem to catch that guy in. Yeah, it's marriage in the 90s for you. Answering machines and email, although I won't hold my breath waiting for Jagger to get on the computer. Karen? Yeah? Um, I overheard something that your sister-in-law said to you last night. Gina? Yeah. She can't seem to get over the fact that Jagger and I aren't Aunt Ozzie and Harriet, you know? Yeah, or at least living in the same town. I mean, there is a police department here in Port Charles. 
Jagger's in the middle of something he's been working on for a really long time. I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, I wouldn't expect you to understand. It's really big, though, you know? It's a very important investigation. More important than his wife? Look, I'm sorry, your marriage is none of my business. It's okay. I mean, I, a guy does brain surgery with someone, he thinks he knows everything. <laughs> you know, when it comes to major brain surgery, you're my consultant, but in the marriage arena... I know, I know. But if I can help... With Jagger and Gina, it's complicated. Their brother Stone died of AIDS. I'm sorry. The children in that family were all alone, and Jagger was the oldest. Um, he tried to keep things together, but he was just a kid himself. So Stone ended up on the streets. And that's when he got sick. Life just threw too much at Jagger. He's still dealing with it, huh? He doesn't let go of things. Actually, I think that's why he's such a good cop. But the man has a wife. You have to let go of things at some point. Well, I have to get back on the floor. Did I say too much? I know we're all supposed to be these rough and tough interns. And there's some people here who would do anything to just stab you in the back. Oh, that's me. Yeah, right. <laughs> but you, you've always been there, no matter what happened. And, um, Joe, I'm not sure why. Because if it wasn't for you, I may actually get some sleep. No, I won't wake you again. <laughs> I'm just saying, what kind of an Irish man finally gets a little steady income from a new tenant and then gambles it away on a bum beat? <laughs> Sounds like you're just an old cliché, Frank. Oh, that's cold. You live. How's the knee? Oh, it pops in and out. One day I'm crippled, the next day I'm ready for a rematch. I think I've hurt you enough for one month. Fine, it'll give me time to plan. After the nurse's ball next year, mm. you and me are gonna play a little football. And then Frank smashed Julie. Basketball bad, football. Good. <laughs> You're on. Speaking of what I laughingly call my social life, everyone uh, who's off duty is going out to celebrate, getting our first paychecks. Oh, great. I thought you'd like to come. As a free agent or with you? With me. Is this a date? You could call it that. Yeah, well, what else would I call it? Fun. Yeah. You do remember how to have fun, don't you, Frank? I, I've read about it. Mm, the real thing's even better. I'm late. You want to ride? I need the exercise. You know, my lazy landlord never put the hooks up for my bike. Can you believe that? That's worth at least a month's rent. Mm, I already scammed him for that. Sounds like a sucker. No, just a cocky Irish football jack. I know the time. See you later. Where were you when I needed you? It was a wonderful breakfast, Lucy. It really was. And it feels good to be celebrating in this house for a change. Why does she keep on staring at me? We missed you, and we're just, you know, making up for lost time. You didn't know Rosette, did you, Daddy? No, um, I didn't. Hey, Serena, did you know that Lucy has her very own duck? You do? Yeah, I really do. His name is Sigmund, and he's a great duck. Do you want to meet him sometime? Actually, I'm surprised he hasn't come in here yet. He usually walks right into the middle of the house. Why? Choose the phone? <laughs> no, he hasn't done that yet, but there's a first time for everything. Kevin did a lot to help me find you. He did? Yes. And so did Lucy. Uh, she took care of me when I wasn't feeling so good. Uh, and you know what? I never did thank them. He's cranky when he doesn't feel good, huh? He had a good reason to be sort of cranky. Look what he was fighting for. You. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, what's a good mood for? How long have you been on call? No, I mean it. Well, you seem to be in an exceptionally good mood. We made it through another week, didn't we? Yeah, amazing, huh? You going to the recovery room tonight? 
We're celebrating getting our first paychecks before we get too sick of each other. I don't know. Uh, Burgess hasn't totally worked me into the schedule yet, so... Well, you know when and where. Well, I'll make it if I can. Mm. Thanks. <laughs> so what's it like out there? No major traumas, but it's early. You know, uh, Frank's coming tonight. Is that right? I invited him. Was that a mistake? Mm, some people that know Frank might say so, yeah. I mean, are, are there any toes I'm stepping on? He's available, Julie. Really? Okay, because I, I wouldn't want to, um, you know. Yeah, it's been that way for a long time. Oh. Uh, the last girl I remember bit the dust because she told Frank Newt Gingrich was misunderstood. Well, I'm a card-carrying Democrat, so that shouldn't be a problem. I have to warn you, Frank thinks he was a Kennedy switched at birth, so, uh... <laughs> You guys can talk about health care all night. Mm. Have fun. Uh, on call room, Dr. Morris. How did you get this number? No, no, it's just, um... No, I don't have a place yet. You can call here. Please don't. Just ask for Dr. Morris. Because that's the way I want it. I don't want anyone to know. Hey, Frank. I didn't know you were working days this week. Uh, I was upstairs, actually, seeing Audrey before she's released. Wasn't she great at the hearing? Talk about the cavalry coming to the rescue. You really pulled through for him, too. Uh, I was just helping someone from the neighborhood. It was more than that. Yeah. So, are you glad to be back? Yeah, I feel like a teenager playing doctor, though. <laughs> Living at home, huh? Yeah. Isn't there a law against that after a certain age? Not if you love the house. That's why we evicted our mother. Okay. <laughs> See ya. Okay. Hi, uh, this is Karen Wexler, and I'm calling about your apartment for rent. Yeah, um, in this morning's paper. Hey, Thank Joe. You. Yeah, I forgot to sign this before your nap this morning. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm here. Um, about a year? Yeah, actually, I grew up here, so I guess you can say that I'm home. Is that my daddy? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. You know, some people would avoid a tie like that, that that's ugly, but not your daddy. She seems fine. Well, you've been really good with her. Daddy, you're wearing a suit. Must be an old picture. She said anything about what happened? No. But I, I keep thinking that I would notice if they did anything to her. But I'm just uh, afraid to ask. She may offer up something on her own. Yeah. Hey, listen, um, you know, Lucy wanted to tell you about the whole thing. Don't worry about it. No, I mean, she was one that made contact with the kidnappers, and, you know, I mean, anything could have happened to her, and with her being pregnant and all, I, I don't blame you if you want to... Lucy made her own decision. I respect it. Serene is all that was important at the time. Do you think she's up to answering any questions? I think if you're there, she'll be fine. I'm never going to let her out of my sight, ever. That red dress, I actually still have, and if you want to, you could sort of borrow it, and we could play dress up together. You want to? Sure. <laughs> hey, Serena. <laughs> hey, hey, remember I, I told you about some of those friends of mine that uh, wanted to ask you some questions? Yes. What do you think? Do you think you're up to it? Do you think you feel like it? I guess so. Oh, you do? Okay, good. Um, but you know what? I thought we'd go visit Grandma and Grandpa at work. The hospital? Yeah, General Hospital. And you know what? Maybe... One of the nice doctors over there could just take a little look at you. What for? Just make sure that you're okay. I'm fine. I don't want to go. Well, you have nothing to be scared about or anything. I'm going to be right there with you, right there. I want to go to the hospital, and I don't want a doctor to look at me. You'll be fine. I'll be there. I'll be there with you. No, and you can't make me. Wait a minute, Serena. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, uh, so what just happened? That's not like her. Something's wrong. Something happened to her. 